how are you guys doing? Doing we good. We are so good. How thank are you? you? Great. Thank you so much. Well, my first question, I just want to know how are you guys feeling in terms of the release and these rave reviews that you both are receiving? Oh. Some, something's mounting, you know? <laughs> I'm feeling a, um, we're, we're in Toronto, we're at TIFF. The energy is constantly growing. Yeah. I don't know to what point. I just want to make sure that I stay grounded in whatever yeah. it is, you know? This is just trying to focus on how this is a celebration of a lot of hard work mm -hmm. um, and a celebration of Tyler and, and this whole new moment in his life that we get to be a part of. Yeah. And so, yeah, just focusing on how this is just a celebration, I think is the most exciting part. And it's of course, lovely to hear people like it, it's wild to me that people have watched it like yeah. that, that's kind of a crazy feeling like it was just this thing that we did like a year ago and now it's this thing that the world is going to see and that's a wild feeling but we are so ready we are so ready for the world to see it well i'm with you i'm ready for the world to see it too yes <laughs> yes <laughs> So, you know, um, A Jasmine's Blues is about a forbidden love story, ultimately, um, among a lot of other different things. So, and this question is for both of you. What would you say your on-screen character taught you about yourself and ultimately about love? Go ahead. Uh, to, to give more love in spite of, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I believe that Bayou gives love through all odds and and he does desire to receive it, but that's is not conditional in the sense that he's still willing, you know, and that's something that I always desire in my life is to give love to all of humanity in a way that speaks to our commonalities and, and the desire to, to, to become closer together and not further apart. So. Yeah, for, for me, I would say um, Leanne gave me uh, permission to claim my identity fully and stand like really proudly in, in, in who I am and exactly who I am, I'm not trying to be anything else for anybody else. And that's just as a person and as an artist. Um, but yeah, th this was a very, this is a kind of life-changing experience for me. And, you know, speaking of a life-changing experience, you know, I know the journey hasn't been easy with getting like your first big break as a newcomer to the industry. So in those moments of defeat, self-doubt and rejection, how do you maintain your mental clarity and detach yourself from those feelings of emotional turmoil? I, I mean, I, I feel like through the pandemic, um, when when our kind of our whole industry was just gone like that in a puff of smoke, like the every opportunity now, like kind of learning that like the highs don't feel high without the lows, the highs only feel as high as they do because of the lows and knowing that like, you know, as, as beautiful as any one job may be, like it's the life on a whole that you have to cultivate. Um, and then so every beautiful project contributes people who are then a part of your life and, you know, pieces of yourself that are then a part of your life moving forward. And so it's holding on to those things in the moments that might be a little more quiet and a little more tough, but, you know, holding out hope that like focus on the work, and good will come to you, really. Yeah. And I feel like I've been charged by no's in the sense that none of us know the height or depth of anything, you know. And whenever I, whenever I've received a no, it's it's a it's almost like a challenge to go further, to go deeper, you know. So that the next time I'm in front of that person, or you know, when they see my work, they feel or witness a, a different human and a different artist, or stronger human and a stronger artist, it's an opportunity, you know? So it's not a failure or defeat in that sense, it's more of, a, more of an adjustment or a realignment, you know, to go further. And, and I'm grateful to have not have work in order to work on myself, you know, cause that's where a lot of the real growth has stemmed from. Absolutely. And you know, everyone has their varying definition of success. So I'm curious, what is your definition of success? In I what sense from, from a, in just general? general, I think she just means in general. In general, yeah. I mean, I, it's something that has so changed and evolved for me as as of late. Um, but I think now it's 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 when I the moments when I find balance that is when I feel I, I am successful. When I feel peaceful in my life, when I have when my community feels strong, um, and when I feel, when I, when I feel calm, I think I used to think success meant busyness all the time, but now for me, success means peace and, and 
you know, that ebbs and flows. And, you know, there are, I think, like textbook definitions of success, which means getting that job, da, 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 da. But now I think it's just like being being in a healthy enough mind space to enjoy the good and deal with the bad. Um, that is success to me. Yeah. yeah. And to echo some of that, like success to me is, is understanding, you know, being understood, you know, because I don't, I don't believe there's peace without understanding you know, whether it be oneself or a relationship with someone else. And um, I think that that's, I guess, a life goal, you know, to to be better understood both through the work and person to person. Yeah, absolutely. And this is actually my last question. Uh, what do you hope to capture in the minds um, of audiences after watching A Jasmine's Blues? What do you hope audiences take away? Just how connected we are, we all are, and that we don't know. There's so, there's so much we don't know even about ourselves. You know, and and I hope people see themselves in these people and, and realize like, oh, shoot, the person I'm sitting next to might be my relative. You yeah, know? yeah. And, and I hope that people take away. I hope they either see themselves in, in this story and see themselves as, as beautiful and, and worthy of love and especially within this time period and gives themselves a, a deeper sense of history. And I also hope that if they don't see themselves, they come out with a deeper understanding of those unlike them and a curiosity towards learning more about, you know, their neighbor. Mm -hmm. Well, that is my time. Thank you guys so much. And congratulations again. This was- Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.